Rainbow Spritz. This is up your alley. <laughs> Amazing. That is so weird. <laughs> da -da -da. I'll go first, age before beauty. <laughs> My name is Lawrence Calhoun. I use he, him pronouns. Hi, my name is Honey, and my pronouns are she, her, and this is my mom, sibling, and my sibling's partner. I'm Haley, she, they. I'm Regina. My pronouns are he, she, her. My name's Evan. My pronouns are they, them. My name is Hakeem Anderson, and my pronouns are they, typically. However, I'm non-binary. I'm Roland Jefferson, and I use he, they pronouns. My name is Shawnee Man. And I'm just a woman that said that like women, that said and that's all. Coming out, I was very young when I came out. My family, you know, they were like, oh, it's just a phase, of course. And I said, okay, well, we're gonna see. It was never like a conversation or anything like that. It was just something that I think was always known. And so... <laughs> you just said you already kind of knew. Mm -hmm. And that was a relief. You like watching sports, but for different reasons. It's just an adjustment, having a child who's born one way but wants to be another way, that like the adjustment in my head about male, female, and trying to use the right words is like my biggest obstacle. They're all my children, and whatever they do and however they are, it's, I'm gonna be there to support them. Been a lesbian all my life, I'm six, five years old, but just the love, you know what I'm saying, to be supportive, that's all it was with me. I was very supportive. For me, it was my parents had a little girl and they wanted to raise a little girl. And it's not that they did it. I just, you know, became who I currently am. When anybody is struggling with identity, they kind of are, I guess, hiding a part of themselves or figuring out a way to unhide a part of themselves. When Honey first came to me and was like, you know, I'm starting to question this gender that's been forced upon me. Maybe it doesn't really align with the way that I feel about myself. I was like, oh, this is great. You know, <laughs> this, is been, <laughs> this is fantastic because, you know, neither do I. When I was, uh, I want to say 13, it's probably the first time I ever smoked weed. My mom smoked weed, but she didn't want people to know that she smoked weed. We couldn't let people know that we smoked weed. It wasn't acceptable. Like, you smoke weed, you smoke drugs. As like being a lesbian, you're living a life wrong. You know, you had to keep it hidden, whereas now it's not as big of a problem as people think it was. There's definitely that, that correlation, you know, between wanting to be able to be free and smoke cannabis freely, as well as be myself freely without, you know, just the nonsense that, that people do. Everybody needs to smoke some. <laughs> to old folks home. See, yeah, they need to smoke some. The best medicine <laughs> in the world. The smoke the world. Mm -hmm. It still blows my mind how far the industry has grown mm -hmm. and expanded. All the hurdles and jumps and stuff you had to get to get to this point right here. It's excellent. Even with the LGBTQ community. Same thing, sure. it's the Especially. same thing. It's like mm -hmm. it's a parallel to yeah. one another. Neither one was acceptable, but now it's coming together. And and I, when I go by weed, this is it's really, really, it's, it's safe. Yeah, people who smoke weed, especially like I noticed heavy users, are very chill. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm like in the cannabis community or at one of these events, it's just very kind of like open arms. People are always willing to kind of like help you out or give you information or like freebies or like, hey, try this out. It's always kind of like an uplifting experience, I feel like, personally. So, I don't know what hash is specifically. I smoked hashies back in the days, like the real thing, like real big, you know, I smoked hash and I dabbed. All right. So what you got there? Oh man, this one is Yamakaze. This one's scary. Juicy cube. Oh, wow. Mm. It smells like flowers. Rainbow spritz. This is up your alley. <laughs> <laughs> How much you put in it? Only a little. Hey, put some of this. Put some of that in. That's the one. That's the one. Try this one. Whoa, mm. that's dope. Did you did you see how fast it just dropped up oh, down no. in there? Oh. Right? Oh, that's cool. It's like taking a hot knife to butter. Amazing. That is so weird. <laughs> <laughs> There's a button on that. I was looking. Oh, you hit. Stutter. 
You get smoked. Actually, this reminds me of your grandf or my grandfather, your great grandfather. He smoked pipes. This is real, like classy, like you know what I'm saying. You go out, the ladies would think you some kind of professor or something. I had this pipe that my dad um, had. Oh. It's that. It's that. <laughs> Just say if you had a nice little tux on, went out and you had one of those. Say, look at that classy dance. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I see you. I see. you have a hat on? Oh, I might. I got one just like that. Oh, just like this one? You know it. You know I'm mad. <laughs> I'm a hat person. I don't even see no smoke. More than you had. <laughs> Took it there. Yeah. You like that? Oh, you got you a cool one. Better than the old wooden pipe, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm like, my mind is activated, like I'm high in a different way. Well, maybe it's my age, but I feel sleepy. <laughs> this is great. Yeah. <laughs> this is great, huh? I'm having a great time. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> this was good. We don't have to do this again on our own time for sure. But I just want to tell you, I love you. I love you too. You already know. You already know. You already know. <laughs> you already know. Thanks for yeah. having us. Thank, Thank you, guys. You guys. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you.